but I don't know how many folks have tested it in the automotive industry like this where you're literally driving. So I have control of these two mics. That's the one thing about the S2000 that I love. But I was curious of kind of putting it in different areas of the vehicle, like down there. Is it gonna pick up some engine sounds a little more? All right, so we are testing out DJI mic. DJI mics, DJI mic, I don't know. I say mics, I think it's called mic. So we have the transmitter, which is connected on top of the GoPro right now. Let me lower this a little bit. I'll actually show you what that looks like by taking a photo and popping that on screen right now. It doesn't slide all the way up, but it's there and it's secure enough. We're about to see. We have the two adapters here. One looks like a USB-C, one looks like for the iPhone, we're not using that. So what I did was, obviously that's connected on a GoPro, what is it, I forget, nine, I forget, but it's got the media mod. So it's connected using the cable that comes with the DJI mic. I have one mic, if you can see me right here, um, hopefully the necklace, actually, you know what, just to be safe, feel naked without my necklace. We're gonna take this off because it might rattle, it's really close to the mic. The other mic, I don't know if you could see, but I put it right here. There's a netting on the S2000 and I have it stereo, which means in post, I should be able to separate the audio from the mic that's on me versus the mic that's there. The goal is just to see how things sound. This is gonna pick me up and it's gonna pick up everything else anyway. And then let's make sure this isn't in the way. Oh, that kind of is. Um, so right there, like for example, I was looking down at the mic, it might've gone louder. That I'm hoping maybe we can pick up some audible engine tones that it's more hidden and pushed underneath against the firewall over there. But again, in post, I'm gonna edit it either completely out or incorporate it, or while I'm talking or driving, I will show a clip from this and that by default, one will be left channel, one will be right channel, but in Post and Premiere Pro, I'm pretty sure there's a, an easy way where you could just make them all the same and then overlap them both left, right, left, right, and either mute one or the other or adjust the audio levels as you want. This is just a test. I have a lot of tests where I just have the GoPro audio with the media mod and an external mic. That's kind of nice, but usually, as you can tell, the GoPro's over there or it's over here. It's still far away from me, the person talking. So this should sound a lot better. I just need to make sure the seatbelt doesn't interfere with it. Yeah, you know what? We might have to adjust, give me one second. All right, now it is on my right side. So the seatbelt shouldn't hit it. The cool thing about these, there is a magnet, you do not need to use the clip, I'm trying not to look down, I don't want the audio to get too loud. You don't need to use the clip like I'm doing. You can use the magnet and have it anywhere else on your shirt, body, wherever, just with a magnet and completely hidden. So that's pretty unique too. So we're gonna go, we're gonna head out, we're gonna see how it sounds. First time using it, should sound a lot better than the normal GoPro mic. got the fuzzy windscreen on so shouldn't really interfere with anything That's the one thing about the S2000 that I love. You can literally keep your hands on the wheel and just, okay, I don't know why this car is not moving. Come on, buddy. Yeah, you can keep your hands on the wheel and on the right side, see right here? I can click up and down to, for air conditioning. And on the left, I have the volume. 
It's like steering wheel controls without the steering wheel controls. It's the best of both worlds because you don't have anything here. You have this beautiful clean look, but at the same time, I can just go like this and raise and lower the AC as I please. And on the left side is the volume for the audio and everything. I just love the setup of this S2000. It's perfect, so driver focused. Being an older car, I've always said this, both aesthetically outside and inside, I think it aged so well. So hopefully this audio is coming out decent, both for the drive, both with me speaking, hopefully with me editing the audio. I think it's gonna come out pretty sweet. I've heard really, really, really good reviews, but I don't know how many folks have tested it in the automotive industry like this, where you're literally driving. Uh, you know, this is my first time ever using it, so I don't know the optimal settings. I have not touched any of the default settings Besides, I believe default was mono and I changed it to stereo. So I have control of these two mics because I wanted to try and see if I can use this for other things in a sense of like, this is on my body listening to my voice. It's going to pick up outside all these nice sounds and everything. But I was curious if kind of putting it in different areas of the vehicle, like down there, is it going to pick up some engine sounds a little more? Is it going to sound good? Can I have that in the background? Is it going to amplify it a little bit? And then just when it comes to me talking, can I edit out the sound to make it as crisp and clear as possible while also maintaining sounds that I want to hear, like this beautiful F22 engine and this you know, AP2S2000. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to hear it. There's a little rattle. I'm getting all these little weird noises here and there. I'm gonna have to just get this like checked out once over, make sure everything is proper before I put more money into trying to make more power and everything. Cause I wanna make sure this thing is smooth. Cause if it's taken care of, if you take care of an S2000, it will take care of you. And the previous owner from what I've seen and heard in the records and everything, it's good, but 
Little sounds like that kind of concern me. Could be as simple as a heat shield or something is rattling, you know? So yeah, like I was saying, me not being a professional when it comes to editing audio and stuff like this, I'd love to hear from you guys. If someone is watching this and they have techniques and tips outside of from what I am doing or will do, I don't know in this video, I'm gonna put everything together or separate it. I might have mentioned like mastering, uh, denoise, there's some other things, frequency settings and stuff within Premiere Pro that I've used. So if there's other things that you used, that was a confusing light. <laughs> it was like, I made a turn and I saw a yellow and I'm like, is that just like a yellow to slow down? That was a weird one. Anyway, make sure to drop a comment if you have certain settings, certain techniques that you use when it comes to editing audio, specifically in cars. Cause I think that's like the most tricky because in most scenarios, you want all background noise to kind of be very subtle and tame and have the voices be like front and center. But in the automotive, when you're recording, there's actually a balance. You don't want the static noise that you might hear. You don't want crazy wind noise. But at the same time, you want to be able to hear some of the exhaust, maybe some of the engine, maybe some other sounds that the vehicle can make. But the camera isn't smart enough to know is that wind, is that this. You kind of have to fiddle with the settings a little bit and just find a happy balance where you can hear the person talking clearly if they're talking and you can hear the car with minimal exterior noise that you're trying not to bring in because you're gonna bring it in. If you're like, I wanna try and amplify a little bit of that engine or that exhaust tone, by doing that, you're probably also gonna amplify some of that exterior wind noise. So it's kind of like finding that balance or repositioning the mics in different areas. Hence why I'm trying down there. Down there, we should get zero wind noise. It's low to the ground. It's hidden beneath the dash over there. So as long as that can pick up a little bit of engine sound, that's the perfect example of where we could pick up engine sounds, but maybe decrease the wind. So I can edit that to bring up some volume where this one I can edit to decrease background noise. It might take away some of the engine and car sounds, but this might be perfect for my voice, while that one could be perfect for engine sounds and just overall car sound. And then in post, we can edit them together. That's why I'm testing this. We will see. Be sure to subscribe. Check out DrivenDistrict.com for some performance parts and merch. If you're interested in more content as far as audio recording, video recording in the automotive field, I'm going to have more videos with that and a playlist, which I will link above and at the end of this probably video. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about these mics and the input you guys have. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys in the next video.